Hello and welcome to Click Service. Today we're going to talk about timesheets and how to um, set them up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is start setting up and configuring how your timesheets are going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to settings and settings and I'm going to click on timesheets. And here you will see a non-work time items, uh, time types. So, for example, when they're not working, administration, break, etc. And you can add as many as you like, and you can delete these default ones that we put in for you. Um, you also have a couple of uh, analysis options. Um, you can tick these, um, which ones you want and which ones you don't want. Right, I'm now going to click on OK, because that looks fine to me. And we're going to set up your engineer's... Um, timesheets. So what you need to do first is you need to go to your staff and user database. Now remember you do need administration rights to do this to get into the staff and user database. So go to settings and then click on staff. And we have three staff in here and as you will see they have a tab at the end called timesheet work times. And so here we have the work time of this particular engineer, so from 9 o'clock until 5.30, Monday to Friday. He has a lunch um, on Monday to Friday between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. At the moment, his lunches aren't paid for at all, so he um, doesn't get paid for his lunch. Um, but you can tick it if he does get paid for his lunch, as so. Okay. You can also, on your non-work types, tick these if he needs to be paid for them. So I'm going to tick lunch again, paid. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a time item in a job that will put that engineer into the timesheet. So what we need to do, we go to jobs and then we click on new. I'm going to add a time item for the engineer, I choose Jeff, who it is before. Click OK, and we can see his start time is its default is nine to five thirty, and he's eight and a half hours. Now it doesn't take consideration of your lunch at this point. So what I would suggest doing is I'd say he's worked up to one o'clock, so that's a four hours. And then I would add another item. So he starts again at 2 o'clock and finishes at 5.30. So as you can see, his real working time is 7.5, so 7.5 hours. Um, I'm just going to create a company. So we've got this here, and I'm just going to save that for this purpose. So as you can see, his two time items are saying he worked 9 till 1 and he worked 2 till 5.30. Obviously in between he had that lunch. So I'm going to click on close. I'm now going to go and have a look at the timesheets. So I'm going to go to modules and then I'm going to go to timesheets. And I'm going to go to timesheets analysis, which is going to give me the details of Jeff on that day. So I'm going to go to Jeff Adams. As we can see, he's given us a list of things. He's given us a lunch because obviously he's got a lunch every day for an hour. And he's got his job. He's got a few jobs in here through the week. So we can see that he had a time item, the one we did, 1022. He worked from 9 till 1 and 2 till 5.30. So we know that he's added those times in and we can see that he's worked a total from Wednesday and a Thursday 23 and a half hours. We can also see some holiday as well that he's had, so 17 hours holiday. And we can also see his lunch at five hours. What you can do is you can print it. So you click on print, you can have a look and print that timesheet off that tells you his lunch included. Um, jobs, the hours he's worked on, and the holiday. Okay, so I click close on there and click close again. 
and that's your analysis of a timesheet. But there was also one more thing. You can go to modules, you can go back to timesheet and a timesheet editor. Here I'm going to select the engineer Jeff again, and you can see you've got lots of different things going on here. So you've got Monday, you've got the activity, and this activity we don't know what he's up to, so we need to right click on it and we need to find uh, an activity he was doing at that particular time on Monday. So you can add all these in if you need to, if you know what he was doing or what non-work items he was doing at a particular time. As you can see, he's put in what he was doing on Thursday at 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock. He was working. Um, he obviously had a lunch on Thursday from 1 till 2 and then he went back off lunch and then worked from 2 till 5.30. Okay, and you can also click on the view timesheet which will bring you back to the analysis of your timesheet as we saw before. Uh, we can close. You can also print it and you can export it to Excel or HTML if you wish to. Um, and that is it for a timesheet. Thank you very much.